Hey guys and girls, welcome back to some poison control. When we left off, we were moving on to the next bell, the bell whose dog passed on as we continue on uh, collecting stickers. I want to thank you guys for the support on this series. It means a lot. I'm really kind of enjoying the game. It's pretty interesting. It's pretty fun. Um, but let's go into the fourth area. Another little kid, it says she's seven. But an entire week since she died. I cried a long, long time ago. Rhinoceros Beals. I forgot to feed him. The priest of Bell's murderous intentions have manifested into a whole slew of clashes. We need to show her that's not okay. A lot of bell memories here. Mommy, why are you putting chocolate in the fire? It's hot in there. You still don't get it, do you? I was thinking chocolate already gone. When different things die, they turn into spirits and go to heaven. Once that happens, they stop feeling anything, keep included. So the chocolate doesn't feel hot anymore? Is it the same as my storybook guy? If heaven gets full of spirits, they all get to come back there. Sure, sure, whatever you say, sweetie. Stop crying already. Oh. So that's why she's killing things? Get it now. If heaven becomes full, then Chaco gets to come back. All I gotta do is send a whole bunch of souls up there. And if it's full, they all get to come back.
Go that way. There's a couple more paths we can take. We can take that one. There's an another soul here. told you a million times, sweetie. You can't call mommy while she's at work. Oh, sorry, but there's something wrong with Chaka. She's been eating her food and she stopped moving. Oh, so then she figured out that Chaka had passed. Death for all. Bell's memory. After all the bugs I crushed, the goldfish I buried, the froggies I spatted, I splatted. But why? Does it have to be a bigger soul, one big enough to fill heaven up all the way? Maybe a cat or all of my friends? Oh, I know. Mommy's bigger than all of them. She did not kill her mom. Just have mommy turn into a spirit for me. And she can bring Chaco back. No. Defeat one question. Should have just murdered me with that hit. I don't think I expect that. Oh, there's the doggy. Wine. Huh? The dog. Is that you, Chaka? Woof. Chaka's collar obtained. See, Chuckles a gold dog. That's how she ended up trapped in the spell's hell. This is her collar, right? What do you think she wants us to do with it? Maybe she wants us to give it to the bell. Makes sense. Hopefully this helps the bell in this hell come to terms with things. Chaco, was that you? Chaco, Chaco, where'd you go? Alright, let's get moving. Get up. Oh, my God. Oh, 
私登場えー、どうこんな感じAh, please. more and I can be purged if Psycho's uh, realm. Ow. What did I miss? Kinda effed up for that like, she's just basically been murdering animals. Like, like she's misguided, but that's
Get up. He did it. Huh? Who are you? Where's Chaco? Um, listen, Chaco, she's, she's gone for good. Most of the time when someone dies, that's it for them. There's no coming back. No! Because for all the things you've killed so far, too, so you're going to have to stop. Here, take this. Chaco's collar. Chaco. She's worried about you. And as long as she is, she can't go anywhere. At least the wall to heaven. She seems so sad, too. You don't want that, do you? Chaco, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. We did it! And now the bell has bell tells purged and purified. Hopefully this bell re realizes her wicked ways and has a change of heart back in the mortal realm. Even if she does, though, do you really think she'll be okay? It's a mom that awful, it's only a matter of time before she ends up birthing some new clutches. Well, we'll just have to cross that bridge when we get to it. Besides, it'll give idea this and another how to purge. You don't say. Well, what matters is that she realizes just how precious the value of life is. See, one time I captured a praying mantis and a butterfly, so I put them in a cage together and... M Midori, you idiot, quit putting bug spray in my... And that's our show. This was Hegan Radio. Brought to you by the Ethical Treatment of Animals. <laughs> Coming at you from beyond the AM and PM, it's Hegan Radio. Midori's wearing a face mask right now. So I'll be broadcasting alone this time. Hey, Midori, what am I supposed to do? All right, so apparently there's a new poison mire that's shown up. Looks like it's in the second circle. It's been a while since anything spilled into there. Anyway, I'll be watching. Let's play. Let's play while I grind myself up to max stats. So let's just sign off here. Uh -huh. What'd you call me? Rancid ass. Oh, transit pass. Right, right. To get to the second circle, you're going to need a transit pass. And that dear listen to listener means you'll have to head over to the gift shop, Don Taro, to get one. There, you happy? Hey, how do you turn this thing off? There's the Down Tower place. Just as President said, a store is standing right by the radio tower. Though perhaps standing isn't quite the right word. Yikes, this place is one hot mess. Excuse me, is anyone there? Oh, God. Oh, look at the bounce. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Another? A deep blush spreads through Poisonette's face as her gaze fixes itself on the woman's endowment. I can hear Poisonette's voice echo bigger than the planet in the back of my head. But I would say they probably aren't as big as the Earth itself, even if you put them together. Welcome and thank you for coming. My name is Dorami Mitogawa. As you can see, I'm an Oni. So, what brings you? Uh, a transit breast. A bust. I mean, pass. A transit pass. Ah, a transit pass. Now, where did I put those? Dorami crouches then. And they're riffling through the shelves. Her assets end up facing toward us, looking very voluptuous indeed. I can hear Poisoness's voice echo bigger than your universe in the back of my head. But I wouldn't say they probably aren't as big at, as the observed contents of space and time. Here it is. There you go. Thanks, uh, Miss Mitsukawa. Oh, you can just call me Grand Grand. Uh, I'd rather not. No, no. No need to give him the tizzy, Miss Oni. We'll do just fine. By the way, you two are collecting stickers. I'm also in charge of granting passage to the Heavenly Realm. Just bring them here once you've collected five. That aside, your old grand grand is always here for you, so stop by if you need, ever need a nudge in the right direction. Will do. Thanks for all the help. 
Oh, no. Don't you mention it. If it were to me, I'd just take everyone to heaven. But sadly, this is a single seat of ride. The only person who arrives first gets to claim it. Oh, so that's how it is. I mean, you didn't know? Even though you're a prisoner? This is a huge centenary event. You're in the early... You're in. The early spread gets to heaven, and the rest damn them all to hell, as they say. Oh, and one more thing. There's been a most peculiar creature stalking the gate to the next circle. A creature? Hmm, how to describe it? It was snake-like in nature, similar to a klesha, and yet not. One thing's for sure, though. It's a horribly violent thing. Do be extra careful out there, won't you? I'll try my best. Okay, so we get passage there. We're gonna save it to finish this layer. Leave a like, guys. Subscribe share with a friend. On the next part, we head into uh, pad for the second. Well, we'll head to the... Actually, you know what? We're just gonna do that. this part. I'm, I'm not gonna end it yet. Because uh, this is technically not the actual next part. This is just going toward the next layer. I catch a glint of light reflecting off of something in the distance. Straining my eyes, I spot a wall bathed in the half light of dust as oh. if covered in blood. There it is! Not a bad view from here, huh? And it gets even bigger. My... But isn't this red sky just gorgeous? Huh? Who in the black... Who in the black poison at? The wind cracks a smile in response to our confusion. Her beguiling ex expression was like being caressed by an invisible hand, yet shrouded in a foreboding veil. You going on ahead? I wouldn't if I were you. See, there's this dreadfully long snake coiled up by the gates at Alnaga. And it smells something awful. I better off staying away. So it's a stinky snake? That's right, like a rotten... Hmm? Well, I do declare. Your scent is simply divine. Hey, hands, nose off this one. Here's mine. But I can't say I care as much for you, little lady. You're stubborn, deceitful, emotional with a loathsome stench besides. Poisonette finds herself at a loss of words against the sudden stream of verbal abuse. I stand in front of Poisonette without a second thought in an attempt to hide her increasingly crestfallen yeah. face. Oh, is it me you're scowling at? So you hate me already? Why well, I'm hurt. I'll just see myself out then. Best of luck. Wait, the clutches will get you all if you go. Thank you kindly, but I can take care of myself. There she goes. What was up with that chick? Was she really a Poisonette even? I didn't see a soulmate around. Maybe she's just a living being. Stubborn, deceitful and emotional. Huh? What'd she have to go and gross me like that for? Like, what did half of that even mean? She's giving me a whole personality profile. And I still don't even know who, who I am. Oh, well, n never mind. Come on, let's go. The gate should be up ahead. Make it to the next level. Head for the depths of hell. Charge it, charge it, charge it, charge it. Oh, God. Shoot it. Me, 
たまま寝るタイプの人開けたまま寝るタイプの人君、目開けたまま寝るタイプの人いけた oh I didn't have many shots in me um. no you don't ow oh, come on I said no you don't what do you do when I said don't Oh my gosh!
Charge, 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 charge. A two, A two. Come on, turn. You know you want to turn. a snake no one told us it would be this big <laughs> so shapely i don't know if i can do this you think maybe this thing is our pleasure slasher from way back when ah it's moving all right boss fight let's do this oh my gosh that hurt really badly Wait, what is that hello my dude <laughs> Charging. I guess I gotta just keep moving. How did that hit? <laughs> it's in it. Got him. Level 10. Is and it's our way through to the next layer. The heavy gates open up with a s without a sound. Beyond their bloodstained doors, a new world unfolds before us. Here we are. The second circle of hell. This bell is hell. Hell is flowing out all over the place. But only the earliest bird gets the, to go to heaven. Let's shake a leg. Oh, here we go. Okay, so this is the area we unlock. So I am going to end here now. The bell with her mind in the gutter. A hell of engrossing fantasy is aroused by a book and spread throughout the net. Oh, so this is our next one. Um, on the next part, we will tackle that. Leave a like, guys, subscribe. Share with a friend. And I will see you then.